Hi, this is Chris Neitzer with part two of our template manager tutorial video. In the last video, I showed you how to upload and set a new template. In this video, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about how the templates work. To start off, I'll show you a template skeleton. I'll be using the template that I uploaded in the previous video for this demonstration. The template skeleton looks quite different from the template when it's on the website. These different text items on the template are called pound variables. Each of these pound variables represents a different function in the template. For example, logo IMG means logo image. If the software finds this pound variable in the template, you will be able to add a logo image in that spot. Whereas the logo template variable adds logo text to your template. The hmains variable adds a horizontal menu system to the template. And the content variable is replaced with your page content. The content variable is a required variable for all the templates. This template system allows developers to create their own templates using these pound variables. For more information on template creation, you can visit the wiki page at wiki.soholaunch.com. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate a few of the features of this template. I want to add a logo to my page. So I'll go ahead and click on template settings next to the logo image. Note that clicking any of these template settings button brings you to the same place. So here we are in the template settings. As you can see here in this third box, this is where you can set your logo images if the template supports it. So I'll go ahead and I'll pick a logo here. And I'll click save. So now this logo is on my website. I'm also going to insert some header text. I'm going to change it from test site to something else. And I'll click save again. Another important note, settings such as business information and copyright information can be put onto your website in the same manner. Go to the template settings window and down at the bottom you can enter all of your business information and your copyright text that you want to appear at the bottom of the website. So now that I've saved these changes I want to view my website so I can see them. The logo image that I selected has been placed on the page along with my header text. These elements will be consistent across all pages in your website because all the pages are using the same template. And that's it for the Template Manager video tutorials. Thanks.